my god, it's Jared from Subway. Ladies and gentlemen, we're joined here in the Spreecast. Show, Spreecast by Jared from Subway. Hey, Jared, by the way, while you're here, go to youtube.com slash mindcontrolshow. You'll see that this show is actually quite popular. We're not just two jerk-offs sitting here in front of four people on Spreecast, even though we really are we two are. jerk-offs sitting here in front of people on Spreecast. Yeah. Uh, the, end wanna, is, the end is nigh, Jer. The end is nigh. I want to talk about something very serious. Yes. Let's bring the, bring the tone down a little bit, bring the lights down. Let's let's bring the lights down, get a little serious, talk about the fact that... Uh, you know, my, my inhibitions go away whenever the lights come down. Millions of people in this world believe that Jesus is coming back any minute now. Yeah. Here at the beginning of the video, I'd like to go ahead and prove that it's not going to happen. Okay. By challenging the one and only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ... Hallowed be thy name up in heaven to yep. strike me dead right now. <laughs> strike me fucking dead if the rapture is ever going to happen right now. Well, you still there, Jerry? Looks like I'm still alive, oh. ladies and gentlemen. It's not wise to challenge God. Jerry. The rapture is never going to happen. That's my stance. Yeah. There are many people out there who think that this rapture is imminent. You know, imminent. You know, the, the Velociraptor has already been here once. It uh, killed lots of people in Jurassic Park, so I wouldn't be too quick to say the rapture is Eddie, Eddie, happen. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Rapture, not raptor. Oh, oh. Did you prepare the segment for a raptor talk? Yeah, like I, I thought we were talking about the Jurassic Park being released in 3D in 2013. <sighs> no, I'm talking about the fact that there are millions of Christian individuals out there who are living their daily lives with the hope, this ecstatic hope, yeah. that God's going to come save their soul, yeah. and let the other billions of us here on this planet suffer in misery and disgusting uh, curses of locusts yeah. and frogs falling from heaven. One could say that the, that the curses that have already been... Doo-doo coming out of their mouths, I think, is one <laughs> of them. The, the, you one? know, the, the, if you watch this show uh, you know, ever, you can see a lot of doo-doo coming out of people's mouths. Uh, it's, it's, it's a mainstay of mind control. Um... But I, I believe that the end is nigh. Uh, maybe not the exact uh, version in the Bible, but the end is nigh. At the time of uh, penance and, and, uh, and bowing down for your sins, it is, it is about to arrive. But my question is, how many people have thought like you over the course of the last couple thousand years? Everybody! Yeah. With any kind of religious inclination, they've all thought that something was going to happen in their lifetime. Guess what? Yeah. It ain't happening, folks. You don't the, think the world's, the world's going to go on. You're going to live your entire lifetime. You don't think the world wars are any kind of proof that the end could be near? You're going to die an ugly, disgusting death, whether it's in a world war, whether it's uh -huh. in a time you prosper. Right. You're going to die, and the world's going to go on without you because it doesn't need you. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't want you. You're like a cockroach. You're like a piece of cattle. Now, now, now the only thing I'll say is that that seems to be very in tune with the uh, elitist agenda, making us all believe that we're worthless and uh, there's no point to life. Whenever we aren't worthless, there is a, a, a great battle to be uh, to be waged against the elite, against the uh, the one percent, and uh, we've been kind of neutered into believing that uh, there's nothing we can do. We just sit back and die like cattle. I don't agree with that frame of mind. I think that's a uh, very uh, you know counterproductive that that mindset. But I think that the religious mindset leads you down that same path. It does. If it you does. believe that the end right. is coming, then we're you all go, sheep to be shepherded by I heard, God. I'm listening to this guy on the radio the other day talking yeah. about, oh, the end is coming. You know, not not in the sense that it doesn't matter, so I don't care. But he says, no. doesn't matter who's in office here. Doesn't matter who's your senators. Doesn't matter who's in Congress. God has the right people in place for the right time. For the right moment, whatever. So if he does. you have this attitude of it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, then you just go, well, whatever happens, that's God's plan. But didn't God give us, you know, supposedly like, uh, you know, freedom of, of will, you know, uh, to, to, to choose who he wanted to, to guide us into... But at the same time, not only does he give you that freedom of choice, uh -huh. but at the same time he also knows what you are going to choose. You know, I... I wrap I, your I, mind around that. I can... I can wrap my my mind around it in, in, in some sense, but I I, I don't believe that uh, that we're all kind of you know destined uh, to, to fulfill the fate of God. I think we're we're destined to fulfill the fate of humanity, and the fate of humanity is to be you know controlled by a monolithic organization. I think that's what you know we, will happen. This and it's happening. Um, 
through you know through religious teachings, through you know uh, through through government teachings, we're all kind of just uh, become lemmings, unfortunately, and uh, our power of, indiv of individuality has been taken away. The thing that I've always been screaming since way back when, the Bible claims that the generation that sees Israel become right. a nation again is the final generation. So I believe in our lifetime we can finally put a rest to this bullshit yeah. Bible. Israel became a nation in the 40s? Yeah, yeah. So Those people are still around, so there's still a possibility. You know, they're, they're, they're getting up there. So whatever security. you want to call the generation, when yeah. that generation is up, all the people living to see Israel become a nation, when they're gone, the Bible no longer holds any relevancy. We can finally say that's bullshit. The prophecies in the Bible are bullshit. But you know, uh, you know, Iran refuses to, to to view Israel as a nation. Uh, a lot of these Muslim states refuse to view Israel as a nation. So technically, technically, mm, you can God, still say that into your little scheme there. Yeah, maybe whenever the one world order Billy takes Graham. whenever the new world t uh, order takes over and makes everyone believe that uh, you know uh, takes over control of. Africa and the Middle East and all of them are forced to, you know, recognize Israel as a state, as a country. Maybe then uh, Armageddon could be near. Uh, but right now it's not really. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of this religious talk to me is, uh, it, it, it is, is not really worth discussion. It's, it's uh, uh, what, what's the word? It's contrived. It's, uh, you know, 2,000 years old. Uh, so it's not really relevant unless you look at it from a perspective of uh, mythology and storytelling and you know uh, so many people live their daily yeah. lives with this yeah. hope yeah. This, this people are literally en energetic and they're excited for this moment when Jesus comes it's back not coming. It's and not lays waste to all of it's us not happening. It's up, to, it's up to you and you and me to lay, to lay waste to the heathens it's not up to God, God isn't going to do it for you God doesn't pull you out of bed in the morning. God doesn't teach you how to, you know, drive a car. God doesn't teach you how to be a, a decent individual. It's up to the individual to learn how to be a, a decent individual. And um, putting all your faith in God like that probably isn't really what God wants you to do. God wants you to experience life as an individual, not as a follower of... Uh, That's uh, disgusting what some, you're saying. Some, 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 some contrived, you know, 2,000-year-old ideology that has kept uh, the world in constant war since, you know, since it was written, since... Since Jesus supposedly died for your sins. That's about it for today's show, huh? No, do you have anything more to say, Jen? I'm sorry for eating up, you know. I don't have anything more to say other than it's all bogus. Yeah. Armageddon ain't happening. What about the Mayan Armageddon? Do you think, do, do you think the end is nigh according to the Mayan calendar? I know I mean, you've been a big proponent of it. 2012 ain't happening. Yeah. What are, what's this world going to be? Let me say the year 2060. Uh -huh. When we're all here... We're past this generation of people seeing Israel become a nation. We're past. 12. I think you give us too much credit. I think we're definitely going to destroy ourselves in the next five years. We're very. I would say we're very close to doing it in the next twenty because of technology and like yeah. we were talking about earlier in the show, people spying on us. But you know, uh, during, during, during the communist Red Scare, there's a lot of people believing that nuclear war and nuclear de de uh, devastation was imminent. Then that was twenty years ago. But listen, man, listen. In our lifetime, we're going to see dare I say, aging, as a disease become a thing of the past, Yeah, we might see some real transcendent humans. You, you, you're, you're already seeing it with this testosterone replacement, a lot of people are trying to live younger, you know, uh, injecting themselves with you the think people are trying to live longer started with testosterone injection. But it's definitely an indication that people aren't really willing to... to to age gracefully, you know, people want to get plastic surgery to raise their tits or to tuck their tummies or to you, you know, don't think you don't think these little stories that go back as far as time goes on about this fountain of youth and everything right that's true that's true leaves more to that than just the admits of plastic surgery I I I, I think th this generation though is, is definitely uh, age consumed oh that was that was Satan strike that was God striking you down Jim I'm sorry God had to do it. You tempted him one too many times. Well, I'll come with the camera.